<laughs> All right, so you see this scrolling behind us. Yeah, it's gross. These cicadas. This picture got me the most. Um, some of us aren't seeing them yet. I'm not seeing them yet. Look but at that. My cousin lives in Martinsville. She posted these photos. So, Debbie, thanks, and I'm sorry about your yard. She's spotting them all over yeah. her yard. And many more expected to emerge in the coming days. It's been 17 years since the Brood 10 cicadas, that's our variety here, mm -hmm. surfaced to mate in central Indiana. We should be playing some Barry White music <laughs> with this. <laughs> we dim the lights. They used to mate 17 years ago. Some early risers were seen at Brown County State Park already with 1.5 million per acre, soon showing up in heavily wooded areas. Park officials say they are completely harmless to humans. But they also do warn that while not poisonous, the S exoskeletons can be hard to digest, so don't eat them. They also say it can upset a dog's stomach. Park directors hope the cicadas will not keep campers and hikers away. I, I wouldn't want to have one crawling on me, but you know, if that if that has to happen, I'll just brush it off. Would you go camping? No. You wouldn't. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> what, what about you guys? What do you guys? Would you guys go camping with the bugs everywhere? Nope. Maybe. No. Like that guy. No. Well, what about you guys? <laughs> I don't want to be the wimp. <laughs> when the soil reaches 64 degrees, that is when the cicadas are expected to emerge in huge numbers. The males will then make all that noise to attract the ladies. For four to six weeks, the insects respond to the light, so they're very noisy during the day and much quieter at night. All right.